Lighting is one of the most important factors in any space, whether it's the dining room or the home office. And today, I'd like to show you guys a few new lights from BinQ. And shout out to BinQ for hooking me up with these. And by the way, this won't be an in-depth review because there are many channels out there who will do a much better job than me. But I will highlight some of my favorite features. The first product I will be unboxing is the Screen Bar Halo Monitor Light. One of the first videos I ever uploaded to YouTube a couple of years ago was actually the Screen Bar Plus, and to this day, I am still using it at my work desk. So I am pretty excited to see what new features the Halo has. Inside the box, there was a foam pad and an adapter to assist with mounting the light on a curved monitor, although I didn't use them though. I decided to do a quick test fit on the LG Dual Up monitor, and it seems the bar is a bit wider than the actual monitor, but I didn't mind it, I still think it looks okay. I was expecting the install to be effortless with no complications. Plug the USB to the back of the monitor, install the three supplied batteries into the controller, and everything should just work fine, right? Well, not exactly. A message popped up stating the USB accessory is using too much power. The light started to flash slowly, so I ended up having to unplug it and switch the USB to a different power source. It was definitely a letdown, and I'm not sure if LG or BenQ is to blame. I will eventually test it on a different monitor to see what happens. What sets the screen bar halo apart from the previous model is that the new controller is completely wireless. I find this much more convenient as you don't have to worry about cable management and the controller works instantly right out of the box. No need to pair or sync. The controller lights up when your hand hovers over it and by tapping the thermometer icon you can adjust the color between warm and cool. To adjust the brightness levels, tap the upper right icon and rotate the dial. There is also an auto mode which will intelligently adjust the brightness level according to the surrounding environment by utilizing the built-in ambient light sensor. Another new feature I like about the screen bar halo is that there is now a backlight. When you tap on the lower center icon, you can cycle between having both lights on or just one. I also did notice that when a single light is on, it is brighter compared to having both on. If you are getting a glare or would like to adjust the light, you can easily rotate it to your desired position. To store your favorite setting, you can easily tap and hold the little heart icon on the controller, so that next time you can quickly enable it again. The only thing I dislike about the controller is that it is a fingerprint magnet, so I am constantly wiping it. In the evenings, I like having just the backlight on to unwind, relax, and maybe listen to some lo-fi. And right about now is the perfect time to talk about the sponsor of this video. Let's do a quick unboxing, and we'll get into the details shortly after. These are the all-new Soundcore Space Q45 headphones by Anchor. The Soundcore Space series is the new predecessor to the previous Live series. Within the Soundcore app, you can switch between different ambient sound modes such as noise cancellation, normal, or transparency. You can also limit the maximum volume, customize the physical buttons on the headphones, or even create a custom EQ. I personally just use the default settings, and if needed, I will make the adjustments at a later time. The Soundcore Space Q45 headphones adopt a sleek, minimal design and is available in black, white, and navy blue, and will set you back about $149.99. I love the matte finish with just a hint of gloss to accentuate the logos. Certified by Hi-Res and Hi-Res Wireless Audio, the 40mm double layered diaphragm drivers offer deep bass, rich mids, and crisp highs. The first thing that I noticed were the ultra soft ear cups. They have a memory foam like feel to them. The same material is also crafted underneath the headband for added cushion. And of course, they are fully adjustable to assure that the fitment is comfortable. On the bottom of the left earbud, you have access to the adaptive noise cancelling modes, the power button, and a USB Type-C for charging. On the other end, you get an auxiliary jack, the play pause button, and volume control. The key selling point on the Q45 is that it has a 3-stage noise cancelling system that reduces noise by up to 98%. It is certified by the world's leading testing, inspection, and certification company, SGS. After enabling ANC, I can say that the Q45 blocks out the noise exceptionally well given its price point. With ANC on, you get up to about 50 hours of playtime, and with ANC off, it's a staggering 65 hours. That puts the Soundcore Space Q45's battery life at nearly 2 times longer than the competitors. 
So if you are in the market for a new pair of headphones, I would highly recommend considering the Soundcore Q45. Or, if you prefer using earbuds, you should check out the Soundcore Space A40. These were also recently released and offer up to 10 hours of playtime from a single charge and a total of 50 hours with the wireless charging case. And with a quick 10 minute charge, you will get 4 hours of playtime. The Space A40 is available in the same color choices as the Q45 and retails at about 100 bucks. And I gotta say, these look really good too. If you want to check these out, I'll leave a link in the description below along with everything else mentioned in this video. Alright now, let's switch gears back to some BinQ goodies. Here's a little fact you probably didn't know. BinQ stands for bringing enjoyment and quality to life. Known for their DOP and short throw projectors, BinQ utilizes a similar technology to manufacture this, the e-reading desk lamp. The lamp has an aluminum alloy design with a weighted base that feels like it could easily weigh more than 2 to 3 pounds. Setting the lamp up takes less than a minute with only one screw to secure the arm to the base. There are multiple points on the metal frame and the lamp has a ball joint so you can easily adjust the angle to your desired position. The joints are pretty stiff, so I find it easier to use two hands when adjusting. A single tap on the little chrome ring turns the lamp on and off. And by pushing the control dial, you can adjust the color temperature or brightness by rotating the knob. If you tap and hold, the color and brightness will automatically adjust to the environment by utilizing the built-in intelligent ambient sensor. Aside from keeping the desk illuminated, I like having a lamp that I can quickly access for little tasks such as cleaning my gear. BinQ also offers this exact lamp as a floor lamp. When you purchase the e-reading floor lamp, you basically get the same exact table lamp, but you also get a separate box that includes a floor base and an extended column. For the floor base, you will have to assemble six rubber tips to the bottom using the screws provided. I then attached the lamp to the floor stand the same way I attached the desk lamp to the base. I have purchased many floor lamps in recent years, but the unique design of this one really caught my eye. I was expecting the overall height to be a little taller, but then again, I think it's perfect the way it is. On the lowest setting, it measures about 44.5 inches from the floor to the top of the chrome ring. And when it's fully extended, we are looking at about 62 inches or so. I also think that the power cord should have been a little longer. It's roughly 56 inches from the bottom clip to the wall. The cord on the desk lamp is actually longer because you don't have to clip the cable to the bottom. But for the floor lamp, it would have been nice to have an optional extension cable in the box. I do, however, appreciate that it's braided and it certainly feels premium. For the time being, I like having the lamp in this little corner, but I may eventually move it into my bedroom. In the future, I hope that BinQ would consider releasing lamps that are app controlled because almost every single light in my home is automated. Well anyways, that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this video, please help me reach 100k by subscribing and follow me on Instagram for more content.